Hello beautiful people. Welcome to Vav Fashion's YouTube channel. My name is Eunice. Today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful sleeve. You can see it's really beautiful and you can see how I'm blushing. It's really, I like the outcome of the sleeve. So let's get started. But before we do that, please subscribe to my channel like share and invite your friends please to come and let's learn together okay to achieve this sleeve i already have my basic sleeve cut out already i see my basic sleeve pattern cut it out on my pattern paper this is my hemming allowance so I just fold it in like so so you can see i have my center that's the middle part of my sleeve which has the crease line already so I'm going to be slashing it open. I've added my sewing allowance already to this pattern. I'm going to be slashing this sleeve open up to the elbow point. So let me mark where the elbow is. The elbow is from the tip of the shoulder or the tip of my sleeve to 13 inches. So this is where my elbow is my elbow is let me just mark it out so that it's clear this 13 inches here I'm just going to draw my line so here is my elbow i'm going to slash it to that point like so and then I'll cut open this way and then I'll also do the same thing I'll cut so you see I have this already so I'm going to I want to have four slashes here on this part and four here too so I have the total measurement I have here from here from the from the elbow to this point is 13 inches. I'm going to be coming down by one inch from this part and then I'll begin to slash. I'm going to have four slashes. So when I divide the 12 by four, by four, I'm going to have three inches. So I'll come to this point and mark. So from here, I'll be starting my marking to from here and then I'll mark my three inches at this point. Mark three inches at this point. Then mark three inches. So this is the last three inches. So I'm just going to slash these three inches. Let's just mark it towards the armhole. This is the first one. The second. The third. And then of course, that's the last one, which is the fourth. So I'm going to be opening up the sleeve this way. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. Then I'll show us how to place it on our fabric. So to mark on this side, I'll make sure that they are even. I'll make sure that they are even. So I'll mark this point. Just going to mark this point. Just notch this point and then come here and take my measurement at this side so that I don't miss it. Do that this is just for us to have even slashes. So I have four and three quarter at this side. So I'll come here and mark my four and three quarter at this side too. Four and three quarter at this side. The second I have what two and a half so i just come here and mark my two and a half here i have what i have two inches i'll mark my two inches and of course the last one so i'm just going to connect it so i have this one will be connected to this this will be connected to this and then this will be connected to this that's three inches from that point. Mm -hmm. Three inches from that point. My three inches again. And then the last one. So I'm just going to connect it. 
Okay, so having done that, I'll go ahead and slash it out like I did for the other side so that you can open it up. So, this is what I have. This is what I have. So, I'm going to place it on this Ankara fabric and then show us. I've placed my pattern paper, my sleeve pattern on the on my fabric, as you can see, and I've opened it up. You can open as wide as you want it to be, so or as wide as you want. So I've opened up. I want to have two inches in between them. Two inches. You can see that this is how the sleeve is supposed to be. But for me to be able to open two inches in between them, it means that it will have to open up this way. So this is what I'm doing. So I'll come here. I want to just have this at this point. I don't want it to really open up. So the distance I want to have between this and this, that's this part and this part, is 1.5. So you see, can you see that here is still meeting each other? It's not as wide. It's not going to be as wide as the others. You will understand as we... We go further. You can use your tape, your masking tape to tape it down. So here I have one inch. Mm -hmm. I have one inch, which is okay. Mm -hmm. Then at this point, I want to have two inches. So I'm going to mark my two inches here. And then I'll tape it down with my masking tape. So I've slashed and spread it out and I've taped it down. I'm going to just take my measurement from here. Can you see where I'm placing my tape from? I'm placing it from here. That's from the elbow to this point. I have 19. No, I have 19 and a half. So I'm going to place from here to this point too. I still have the same 19 and a half. So I'll come here to the middle, meaning that I'm supposed to have that same 19. 0.5 here at the middle so this is my center so i'm connecting here this from here to here and you see it looks higher so that's why you need to take your measurement to avoid any mistake okay so here so this is what i will have so i'll go ahead and cut out this sleeve it's as simple as that go ahead and cut it out because I'm going to, you can see I folded my hemming allowance. So I'm going to cut out the sleeve, including my hemming allowance. So my lining is going to be shorter with two inches, which is this hemming allowance that is folded here. So I'm cutting out, I've already cut out this side. So just go ahead and cut out the hem of my sleeve. See, I've opened my hemming allowance up. Let me take it from this side. I'll take this side. Okay. So I've cut out my sleeve already. Let's see how it looks. So this is what I have. I'll do. Okay, you can see I've gone ahead to cut out my lining. Cut out my lining. I added gum stay to this area. I used the medium weight gum stay. I also did the same thing here. I added gum stay to the main fabric. So you can, if you notice, you realize that my sleeve is a basic sleeve. It's not slashed and spread like this one. So this is just what is going to be inside to give me my actual basic sleeve. So what I'll be doing right now, I'll get the midpoint of this sleeve, the main sleeve, and notch it. I'll also come here and get the midpoint of my lining and notch it too. Then I'll take my sleeve this way and fold it. Remember that I added two inches hemming allowance to the main sleeve. So I just come here now and hold it this way and pin it. Remember that this part is the, the upper part of my sleeve. If you look at this sleeve, despite the fact that 
it has been slashed as red you still notice this shape here so i'm going to place them together this way and pin it down i'll do the same thing for this side do it all the way down so So you can see it has left me with my hemming allowance on the fabric or from the fabric. So I'll go ahead and do the other side and show us the next thing to do. So pin the both sides. You can see my hemming allowance is here. So now this notched part, I'm going to come here and align the middle, those parts that are notched. I'm going to be pleating. You can see I have excess on this side and I have excess on this side. So I'm going to be pleating this side to this side. That means I'm pleating. This is my right hand side. So I'm going to be pleating my right hand side towards the right also. So you pleat. Just pin the middle so that it doesn't shift from there. So I'll pin this. I'll pleat this way. I'll pleat. I'll pleat. I have the last pleat now. So I've pleated it. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. You can see that I have one, two, three, four pleats. Please try to make them even. I'll do the same four pleats on this side. So just in case you need to know the measurement I used of this place and show us. So from here, let me take my measurement. So this is like 1.5 inch. Of course, I'm pleating 1.5 inch. When you fold it into two, it gives you three inches. So I'll be doing the same thing here. I can eyeball it, but for someone who is not used to it, you can use your tape to do that. I'll make sure that it meets it at this middle point here. So I'll just check and confirm. From looking at it, I know that I already have my 1.5, which is what I have here already. So I'm just going to go ahead and pin that part. So I'll go ahead and do it all the way to the end. Then I'll show us the next thing to do. So after pinning, this is what I have. This is what I have. So I'll go ahead, I'll take it to the sewing machine and then sew this part down. Sew this part down and then go ahead and sew this part as the side with the pleats. Then I'll come back and show us what it looks like. So now that I've sewn it already, you can see that it's really looking nice. So this is what I have. So I'm just going to, this is what the sleeve looks like. So you see how puffy it is. So let me place it on the mannequin so that I will see how it is before I'll show us the way it looks on the physical, on the dress that I made this sleeve for. So this is what my sleeve looks like on the mannequin. And see how beautiful it is. I just pinned it to the mannequin to show us. See how lovely it's looking. So if this tutorial was helpful, please like, share, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please do not forget to put on the notification bell so that you can get notified once I post a new video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next one. Bye.